What are you seeing from Kentucky on tape, just kind of leading into this one? Uh, it's, it's the same defense at Tulsa, basically a drop eight, cover three defense. Um, not too much. They play a lot of off coverage. They go man a, a little bit in third down situation, third and long situations. Not too much, though. Kind of going off that, you faced off against Kentucky, you know, your last two years at State. I mean, how similar are they to some of those teams and just the way that they operate? Uh, my, junior, my junior year, that's when uh, they first came out with the drop eight. You know, over there, we, we had a bad game that year. But my senior year, uh, we ran the ball a lot, so we ended up controlling the game. And uh, we ended up beating them pretty bad that year. So they got some of the same guys over there. They got a couple new players, but they got some of the same guys over there that I seen last year. I saw you come off the field a couple of times Saturday pretty animated. Is that just you saying, hey, I'm open, I can get the ball? Or what, is that just, just the way you kind of fire yourself up? Um, I just, that's just me just firing myself up. Ain't nothing about the ball. You know, God going to find a way to get the ball to me, you know. So, you know, I don't tr really care too much about getting the ball less that much, you know. Because you run your routes right, you know, the right coverage, you're going to get the ball eventually. Lane said yesterday that he's seen Jackson grow more in the last three weeks than he did in the first 10 months he was here. Just how is he growing? What, what's different about Jackson than when the season started? Uh, I, really didn't, I really didn't see him in the spring, but like ever since I've been here, yeah, he's, he's growing over to, he, 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 been, he, I don't know, he, he, he becoming a good uh, quarterback, a great, a great quarterback, a winner. He want to be a winner. So when you want to be a winner, you know, it gonna, it gonna, you're going to have them traits of growing up, you know what I'm saying, being a more, lead, more of a leader and uh, on and off the field, you know. With one of the questions going into this season was, you know, how would all these transfers, of course, you being one of them, how would they all kind of mesh together to chemistry and all that sort of stuff? But now that you're four games in, I mean, what have you kind of learned the most about this team, especially with a lot of new faces? Uh, on offense, we all just buy in. Uh, just basically on offense, we all just buy in. Can't nobody stop us. I feel run, pass, it don't matter, you know. We just got to buy into the system, buy into the play call, and go and execute, you know. Four games in now, how do you just kind of evaluate yourself and your comfort level in, in this system? I can't hear you. How do you kind of evaluate your game so far, four games in, and just the comfort level now within this system? Uh, I'm very comfortable now. Like like I said during fall camp, you know what I'm saying. Once you learn the concepts and the schemes, you know you're gonna get very comfortable in the. Uh, Cause a line like line like line, he gonna put you in position where you make the play. You know what I'm saying. So it's just on you if you make it. You know. So I feel good about it. That first half against Tulsa, you guys I think put up it was, it was 35 points. You were kind of rolling. Second half, it was a lot of punts and and wasn't quite as successful. Is there anything that you can kind of pinpoint of, of what was different between the first half and the second half offensively? Um, I, I can't really just say on that. Bro. I just think we, we wasn't locked in as we was in the first half. You know, Tulsa a good team, don't get me wrong, but like they wasn't ready for us, you know. we uh, they, they, they didn't play the defense that we thought they were going to play either. They played a lot of man and loaded the block, box up to try to stop the run. So they didn't play the defense. We thought they were going to play in this high, you know what I'm saying? A lot of talk this preseason about the depth you guys have in the receiving room. Other than you and Mingo, there haven't been too many guys catching a lot of passes so far. How do you get more of that depth involved in the game? Um, a, lot of, a lot of them young, you know, a lot of them young. Me and, me, me and Mingo more experienced, so it just, it just come down with experience. You know what I'm saying? Playing in the SEC a, lot, a long time now. You know, Mingo playing four years in the SEC, I played three. So, you know, it just come down to experience. And we're going to uh, eventually get them guys in and get them rolling, you know. They just got to get their feet wet. I don't uh, have some on ready, some on not. Mingo was in here Saturday just talking about the 24-hour rule and, you know, needing to flush this, especially with the top 15 SEC team coming and going to town. But even kind of knowing that the way that you kind of – that you know things didn't quite click offensively or defensively, and Clay said afterwards it wasn't didn't feel like a winning locker room. Is there still kind of a sour taste in your mouth? Yeah, yeah. 
I was pretty mad after the game. We ain't scored in the second half. I don't think, I don't think. That's not us, you know. We trying to win a national championship. We trying to win an SEC championship. And we play, we do that against a great team like Kentucky. We want to win, you know. So everybody really was mad, wasn't no talking, you know. Whenever, whenever the head guy's mad after a win, you know, that makes us mad, you know. So it just. You mentioned them putting more people in the box to take away the run. Is that what you sort of expect from Kentucky and other teams moving forward until you guys? That's not what I seen on film. That's not what we seen on film. They drop, they play a lot of cover three, so I already don't know. But like, we got two great backs, and you know that you're gonna have to load the box against them. So eventually, they're gonna load the box up and they're gonna leave those one on one outside. We just gotta make the play like Coach said Saturday.